Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are trying on some of the products by Sisley that I recently picked up. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. Starting off with this product, I think this was the most interesting one to me. It is the Super Stick Tinted Sun Care SPF 50 Plus. It is a very water resistant sunscreen in stick form, but it has some color to it. We'll also be talking about the Blur Expert Powder. I have a stick blush, and this one is in Passion. I do have this, I don't know if I've tried this on in a video before, but this one I've had for a little while, the Phyto Eye Twist in number 11. And then last but not least, this beautiful lipstick in 41. So let's go ahead to try on. I've just got eyebrows on, a little bit of Color Science 3-in-1 under my eyes, and I used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream today. We're gonna go in with this first. It is the Super Stick Tinted Sun Care SPF 50 Plus. Up until yesterday, I was going to say that this was a product that I didn't like because I was using it incorrectly. I was kind of just taking this all over my face and really slathering it on. And then just yesterday, I thought, let me go in with a lighter coat of it and it works so much better. So if you have this and it's not working for you, try using less. I do wonder though, the less I use, how um, powerful the sunscreen is at that point. It does work better though when I put on a thinner coat. So as I put this on, I'm gonna show you, I just go in straight like this. So you can see the color. Okay, let me just put this up here. And as I tap it in, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. But you can see, if you go straight in with this stick, kind of how it looks before I blend it in. Just so you can get an idea, depending on what shade you wear in foundation, if this will come close to your skin tone or not. And this was a mistake I was making. I was going in like, with the stick all over my face really, really thick and it was not good at all. But with a thinner application, it looks better. Again, I can't speak to the power of the sunscreen if you have a thinner coat of it. So it says designed for optimal tolerance. The super stick sun tinted SPF 50 youth protector is equipped with a high performance complex of latest generation mineral screens, particularly indicated for sensitive areas of the face, nose, lips, cheekbones, ears, and eye contour. So I haven't really gone anywhere like on my lips or anything like that. Uh, we could try, let's see. Also the eye contour area, let's go just a little bit above that because I haven't tried that either. But I think this is one area that's really neglected is up here. And I'm going to go in with a crayon in a bit here on the eye area so it's okay if it's a little bit, um, creamier in that area. To offer the best UVA, UVB sun protection to the most delicate areas of the face, the Super Stick provides a very high index of protection SPF 50 plus and a high concentration of protective antioxidant and nutritive active ingredients protection against radical attacks. Here's half and half. I know some of you were wondering about this for a no makeup makeup SPF kind of thing, which if you're like me, you want SPF on your face every day. So there's the difference between my skin and the SPF. It also says very water resistant. And when I go to wash this off my face, I definitely need a good cleanser to get this to move. Sweet white lupine oil, vitamin E, wheat germ oil, concentrate cell protection, provides nutrition and comfort to the skin. Shea oil, camellia oil, mango butter. Comfortable to apply, its soft texture glides easily on the skin and is resistant to water and sweat. It also says it has a universal beige hue that blends with each person's complexion for a light, even, and gradual result. I don't really know how universal this would be though. I would have to see it on someone else and I haven't, so. So let us know if you have this and what foundation shade you are so we can find out if it actually is universal. And it also helps protect the skin from the effects of photo aging. Wrinkles, spots, dehydration sagging skin. I know certain sunscreens can impact the environment. So this one says it is environmentally friendly and contains no harmful chemicals for marine life and is also reef safe. I've been working at this to get this into the skin. So it's not just like a one and done kind of product. You really need to get this to get in the skin. So it is a little bit cool for me though. I would have liked a little bit warmer. I mean, you still have that there's a bit of that sunscreeny look to it. So we're gonna go in with concealer. I've got my Clay de Peau. I don't have any Sisley concealers. Let me know if I should pick something up though. It is really hard to tell online um, 
foundations, but concealers are even harder, I think, to find online. So we're gonna try this. My clay to also has SPF in it. I did wanna say the reason I got really excited about the sunscreen stick is because I've been loving the Color Science sunscreen blush. That one is also 50 SPF. Actually, I brought it right here so I could show you what I'm talking about. And I thought it'd be great if Color Science came out with a stick foundation that had SPF 50, because I'd love to try it. And then I found this from Sisley. So you can see I've got Mocha and Almond here, and Mocha doesn't usually pull warm, but compared to the Sisley SPF stick, it is pulling a little bit warm, so you can kind of see how cool the Sisley product is. So if you're really warm, this might not be warm enough for you. Um, but I was talking about this Color Science, it's really grimy because I use it all the time, but it's a blush stick, SPF 50. And yeah, I was looking for something like this. So I was happy when I stumbled upon it. So I just put the stick over the concealer, try and bring it back. We're gonna go in with the Sisley powder. I am still formulating thoughts around this. Um, I'm gonna go under the eyes as well with this. It's this one, the one that I've had lots of questions about compared to the Chantecai powder. I do wanna use a different Ray Morris brush, I forgot to bring it, with this powder because it does a really good job of lifting this up because this powder doesn't move easily um, and that Ray Morris brush actually kind of, I wanna say kind of scrapes product off, so I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so I got my Ray Morris brush. It's a mineral buff brush, so it's not the softest brush, but it really does get the product on the brush, especially if it's a little bit harder to move. And plus I can stamp it right here. I'm gonna do a little bit more in depth with this powder, and of course I will compare it with Chantecai. Um, I almost dropped it, okay. This one has a light matte HD complex, which ensures an equally matte and ultra luminous finish. So matte and luminous, <laughs> enriched with an ultra pure, flawless mica and ultra smoothing high-tech powder. It allows for excellent light reflection for a very natural, perfect skin result. So a no powder powder really is what they're saying. I'm still really kind of examining it. I've been wearing this side by side with Chantecai. I've been trying it with different foundations. So there are lots of factors that go into how actually both of those powders perform. Let's go in next with eyes. This is one I've had for a while. It's, whoa, it's very dirty. Um, it is the Phyto Eye Twist in number 11. Eyeshadow sticks are one of my favorite things because they are beautiful, they're easy to use. And this one is a gorgeous color. So we're just gonna go on the eye like this. We're gonna do a really simple eye today. That's why I like these, you just kinda Draw on your eyes and then smudge it out. We're gonna go underneath as well. I'm gonna add some mascara right now though and eyeliner, and then we'll talk about blush and lips when I come back. I've just finished off with some Chanel mascaras. I will list them below, I used a couple. And then the Espresso eyeliner. I also went in with this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner on the waterline in Mesmerizing maroon. I used both sides. I just went in the waterline with both. And I think that's it. Oh, and then I went in with some bronzer Chantecai Goa. I thought it went well with the eye. Let's go ahead and move on to blush. This is the Phyto Blush Twist in number six. Let's see. This does have some shimmer in it. So these are cream blush, soft as a powder blush, and fun as a twist. So it's got a big rounded and you can see it's pretty chunky. It says you can apply this without a mirror, and I think, yeah, you probably could do that. I don't know when I'd be doing that, but you can. Um, it's a cream formula with a unique sensory experience that turns into powder upon contact with the skin, and it provides the benefits of both textures. It says it's a unique smoothing velvety finish and a long-lasting cream texture. I'm gonna show this to you on, and then, of course, I'll show you a swatch because the swatch will give you an indication of the shimmer if you can't see it. I mean, the shimmer is evident. So it's one of the more visible shimmers that I have. So if you like that, you'll like this. Now for me, you know, I just have to be careful with texture issues. Um, yeah, right up here. But there are detectable particles of shimmer. So I wish I picked up one that didn't have that, but I couldn't tell 
online when I ordered it. And I don't know if you noticed, but I am applying this on top of that Sizzly powder. And one of you talked about using that powder under foundation, so I'd love to try it. I haven't had a chance, although I am seeing though, as I use it more, that applying other product on top of it is not a problem. Yeah, this is lifting off a little bit of that concealer work that I just did. So just be aware, even though it is a cream to powder, it's still going to interfere with any concealing you've done underneath. I don't love that about it. But it looks really nice here if you don't have to conceal. I'm just gonna go in with that powder just to tame that a little bit. Okay, that's as far as we're gonna go with the blush. I mean, it's really pretty. I just, I wish it didn't have shimmer in it and I wish it didn't lift off my makeup. Let's go ahead with this. It's Le Fito Rouge in number 41. So this reminds me of that Guerlain lipstick. It has kind of this type of pattern on it. I remember really liking that about that lipstick because it did make application a little bit more precise. This one's a care lipstick with an ultra silky texture that envelops the skin with a fine smoothing, contouring, and hydrating film. It says day after day lips are more supple, softer, and more elastic. Oh, it has a magnetic case. It's actually quite lightweight. It looks like it wouldn't be, but it's quite lightweight. This feels heavier than this. It's not like the strongest magnet, but it, there is a magnet. So this does help with a brighter color around these corners here. Still a little tricky on the bottom lip though. I wonder what would happen, let's try this because it's bothering me a little bit that I can still see some discoloration. So let's try this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm going to put some on my hand. I'm going to just take this brush and I'm going to pat it on and see if we can do that. So I did want to try that just because it was bothering me that the shade wasn't connected to everything else. It kind of stopped right here. So I did that and then just going over it really quickly with this. I, know I just went in and adjusted the eyeliner just a little bit. When I looked at the playback, it was coming across as red under my eyes, which is not what I wanted. So I went in with Espresso by Chanel and so it's a brown color now instead of, I love that color, I just think, I'm not sure if it's the lighting or what, but it was coming across as like red eyes. Um, also, I have different lighting. Let me know if you like this. I don't have a ring light this time. I got a fancier light. So I'd love your feedback on it if you liked the ring light or if you like this one better or if it doesn't matter. <laughs> but let's go ahead and talk about the products. This Super Stick Tinted Sun Care SPF 50 is something that I was just so disappointed in when I first got it because I had such high expectations for it. And then when I put it on, it was such a mess. It wasn't setting, but then I realized I was putting on too much. And when I found the right amount, it is really very nice. But I think this is such an excellent thing for vacation or like me, I've been swimming a lot. So at first when I thought I didn't like this, I was just taking this and putting it on to go swimming. So it does work really well in terms of the, let's see, the very water resistant part of it. And it's so easy to reapply. You just, you know, put it on like this. So you can use it with more finesse or you can just apply it for sunscreen, a very expensive sunscreen. I'm not sure about how the shade will work on a range of people. So I'd love to know if you have it. If you do, if you love it, let us know what foundation shade you are so other people can get some information if they were curious. But if you're my skin tone, that's actually pretty good for a mineral sunscreen. It did have a bit of a, like a chalky cast about it, but with powder and everything else, it worked out. Let's talk about the Sizzly powder. This is really nice. I'm still testing it out in different conditions with different foundations. And like I said, I will be comparing it to Chantecaille. More information to come on that. As for this, I love it. It's nice and lightweight, doesn't move, doesn't crease. I don't have any other shades. I'd love to know what other shades you would recommend if you have this, but it is a very nice eyeshadow stick. This blush, I wish I picked up a different color. I am not a fan of the shimmer in here. It's too, it's too difficult for me to work with in this area, but I do like that it is a cream to powder, although it does still lift off makeup so if you have to conceal and then put on a blush then this might not be the best one for you because it does impact 
whatever makeup is underneath. But if you don't have any extra issues in this area, you should be fine. And I think this is it, the lipstick. This is gorgeous. I love the way this feels. I think this color is beautiful. It is on the tricky side for me to find shades that are this bold, this bright, that are wearable for me. So I really like this. I think it's very tasteful, it's very classic. I think this is a stunning color, just the right amount of warmth. And that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.